Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. We are, uh, my friend Chad and I have been having several discussions over the last uh, several postings and today we're going to take a look at the death of tag team wrestling specifically in the WWE and offer some input on how we think things could change. Tag team wrestling in the WWE at least is on life support and is in desperate need of help. Yeah, and, and, and I would say in WWE. Because you look at TNA and they have, you know, Motor City Machine Guns, Beer Money, um, Ink Ink, uh, Generation Me. And those are the only four that I can name off the top of my head since they were just focused, fe uh, featured last week on Impact. Um, but they have solid wrestling. Um, you look at the Indies with Claudio Castagnoli and, and Chris Hero, the Kings of Wrestling, the Dark City Fight Club. Uh, the American Wolves, Shelton Benjamin, and Charlie Haas going into ROH now. There is still tag team wrestling out there, mm -hmm. and it's being done well. Yeah. And then you have WWE, where your tag team champions haven't fought a tag team match in three weeks, but they're but one co co holder has fought singles and intergender matches. You know what? Well, what, what and really though. And, and just right now, as of, what is this, December 30th we're taping this? Yeah. How many tag teams, not, you know, not guys that just randomly show up as a tag team one night on row, mm -hmm. how many tag teams does the WWE have? Right, and that's, that's what I was about to say. I mean, we've got the Uso brothers. Yeah. I guess I will give them Nexus of some form. If you throw okay. two Nexus guys mm -hmm. together, are the Dude Busters still around? I don't I know. I think one of them got released. Okay, so you I, that's it, really. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, and then you have Santino and Kozlov, your tag team champions. Right, but you wouldn't know that because yeah, Santino's, Santino's been in yeah. singles and intergender matches. And, and, you know, and then you have the team of Mark Henry and Yoshitatsu that were together one week. Who who knows if they're still together? Who knows if it, if Creative even realizes Yoshi, Yoshitatsu is still a part of the roster. Right. And it's not Funaki. Um, <laughs> and that's... The Hart Dynasty split. Uh, the Dude Busters have split. Uh, whatever team Vance Archer was a part of has apparently split since he's been released. Yeah. Um, every t and every tag team champion legacy. that we've had, I, I did a blog on this a while back, I don't remember the exact number, but every tag team champion that we've had for probably the last two and a half or three years mm -hmm. are now defunct. They don't team up at all. Yeah. You know, Show Miz... Jericho, Miz and, uh, Miz and Morrison, Hearts, the Hearts, um, uh, DX. If you want to, yeah, D. Yeah, I mean, DX they they are the only ones I think that split up and didn't feud. The Cologne yeah. brothers. I mean, I don't understand why we can't have guys. And then that's the other thing too. We're splitting them up, and then you're putting them in Tag individual. Get, oh, oh yeah, you're putting them in. You're repackaging with mm -hmm. another guy that doesn't mel meld well. Or you're putting them in stupid gimmicks and then releasing them, you know. Uh, uh, crime Time, yeah. a perfect Crap example time. of that. I really, you know, the Hart Dynasty I thought was going to actually save the division. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously that is not going to happen. Yeah, and, and I think this also goes back into one of WWE's problems is that they only know how to do one type of wrestling. And I don't think that anybody know. I don't... You know, do the bookers not know how to book a tag team division? And, you know, it's like the Divas division, which has eight to ten wrestlers, but will only focus on one feud at a time. Right. Uh, which, I mean, is okay, because that means we only have to set through one match, and most matches aren't the greatest right now. But do they not know... Does it go back to booking? Do they not know how to build tag teams? Do they not know how to pace a... A feud and a match, or is it laziness? Is it short sightedness? You know, is it just, or does you know whoever's calling the shots just hate tag team wrestling? Yeah, and look back to the first two Survivor Series. Mm -hmm. You had a tag team elimination match. Each side had five teams, so you had ten. And they were 10 tag teams. teams. These were guys that teamed up on a regular basis. Yeah. And granted, eventually, we got the Hart Foundation split, and we got the Rockers split, and we got the British Bulldog. Bulldogs split. But 
they were together longer than a year or 18 months or two years they you know they really bonded and they were established teams and they also had names you know you had the British Bulldogs or the yeah. Killer Bees you didn't have Vance Archer and <laughs> whoever his partner whoever, was. I'm sorry who your partner was <laughs> I doubt you're watching, but you know <laughs> you just they weren't on television, you know, they weren't on SmackDown or well Very rarely. Been, they might have been on SmackDown, I don't really watch SmackDown. And, and it's not it. just even the tag team yeah. division though. If you you know, straight edge society mm -hmm. split up, yeah. the uh, uh, Randy Orton's group, Legacy, Legacy, they split up, Evolution, uh, the Spirit Squad, uh -huh. um, yeah. you know, and the our uh, Nexus is, is heading down that path too, I think. Yeah, probably. Eventually, yeah, yeah. No, because it's always going to happen. Yeah, no team, I don't know if it's just a, in the wrestling handbook that no team can stay together. But yeah, it's, I, I, don't, I don't understand it myself, because you would think that with the limited roster time, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you're not, and, and this again goes back to not only the, the Divas being program one viewed at a time, the heavyweight championship really only revolves around two people at a time. The US title revolves around like one person and then some guy drawn out of a hat for one week to be like, oh, you're challenging for the US title this week. Mm -hmm. um, same way with the IC title. It's like you have all these guys on the roster who aren't doing anything. You know, even if it's right now you take two guys and you put them together and so, you know, the first couple weeks they're random guys thrown together. Six months from now, they could be a tag team. Yeah, you know, you just have to get behind them and and push them and and build. We'll, I'll let you finish on the tag team, but the next topic is how do you build stars? Right, and you know, on the tag team, the one that comes to my mind every time is the New Age Outlaws. Mm -hmm. Back, you know, back in the late nineties, I can remember, you know, Billy had come off of the um, smoking guns and the rockabilly gimmick. Road Dog had been Jeff Jarrett's roadie. They put these two guys together. I was not excited about it at all. I thought, this is stupid. But they they worked. They made it work. I don't know, you know, I don't know what the magic uh, bullet was there, but you know, they beat the Legion of Doom. They won the tag team titles. And they became a really and solid and legitimate tag team, I thought. And I think one Road Dog was good on the mic mm -hmm. and was allowed to be Road Dog on the mic. He yeah. wasn't going out there and being like, "Okay, here's my script. Here's what I have to say." He was just kind of feeling it, and and I know a few times he said some things that were very inappropriate, but that's what helped build the character. And the second is they were uh, put over a team like the Legion of Doom. Mm -hmm. you know, they were built up to be a serious threat, and then being thrown in with the X also helped. Right, right. Which I think also helped Triple H and X Pac. Yeah, because absolutely. that was they. I believe they got they joined right after Sean had mm -hmm. left. Yeah, so yeah. DX was kind of non-existent, and then they all four came together. Yeah. Our one, two, three cents. Post your comments and let us know what you think too.